Hi guys, so there was some problem in the system and it stopped capturing. So yeah, I'm making a video for the problem even e2. So yeah, even e2 actually has the same problem with the only difference of constraints. So let's just talk about the solution that optimal solution because I did just one submission and it turns out to be an easy question for me. I'll just explain the intuition behind it. So the problem basically states that you are uh, okay. So there's a, there are two strings s and t. Now for any of the characters that are present in S, right? What you can do is that you can pick a character that is at the location i and you can swap it with the other character that is at the location j. If and only if the difference between the S's of i and j is k or it's k plus one. So that's it. The question states. Now let me turn on my card. Yeah. So my uh, aim is that if this is the string that is given to us, like this is a naught a1 a2 a3 a4 this is a pretty big string let's talk of a smaller string let's say a naught a1 a2 simply right and my k is equal to 1 so k is equal to 1 basically means that i can swap this with this because the difference between a min uh, 1 minus 0 is actually 1 right so it's equal to 1 right so i can swap this with this i can swap this with this i can also swap this or this so after some operations it would be possible for me to permute it any way i want right let's take a bigger example let's say this is the string this is a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 now checking for k is equal to 1 is obviously trivial we won't be doing that but uh, but let's say k is equal to 2 so now what would happen is that you can uh, like change this with this right change it over here you can uh, then a2, uh, a3 can also be changed with a0 because it can change with k plus 1 and it can also be changed with k a4 can be changed with a2 or with a1 right you'll observe that technically over here also we are forming loops right so because uh, or not loops or we are forming a uh, forming kind of an infinite structure where we can replace any character with any other character we want let's just take something for example right so let's say we want to replace a3 with a4 now how would we do that so one of doing it would be that we can take a3 to a1 right and then we can take a4 to a1 right both of these operations can be formed so we can swap any character that's what i mean so would it always be the case? No, it won't be. So let's say this is the string. So let's say this is the string that we are having. Or simply just take, let's say the easiest example is a1, a0, a1, a2 and k is equal to 2, right? So now you can uh, like change these two characters or you can swap these two characters, but you, can, but you cannot do anything with this character. So the general thing is if i minus k is less than 0 and if i plus k is greater than or equal to n, because this uh, goes up to uh, n minus one in one base indexing. If this kind of a scenario happens, then you cannot do any kind of permutation, right? But it's possible that the character at s of i, even if this is happening, right? The character of s of i is equal to t of i. That is very well possible. If that is the scenario, then I need not even permute it. I can say this is fine. But if this kind of a scenario is happening, that I cannot uh, like interchange this particular character. And on top of that, my s of i is not equal to t of i, right? Or the two uh, the characters at these two locations or these location in the two strings are not similar. In that case, I'll have to print a no. So that's it about this question. Now, yeah, technically for an e1, e2 problem, it kind of looks pretty easy. I, I don't know why they gave this problem. Maybe it was just difficult, a bit difficult to come up with or it's just div3, so they gave this problem. But yeah, that's the solution you can see. So what I'm doing is firstly I'm checking that the frequencies have to be same, right? So for two strings, if they're not an anagram or like let's say if the frequency of characters in the two strings are not same, then no matter how you mute, you're never gonna get to the answer itself. And then if it's not same, print a no. Else what I'm checking is if my if for the current index, if I'm, i plus k is less than zero, or i plus k is greater than or equal to n, and the character at the ith location for uh, s and t or these two strings are not same in that case print a no and keep continuing it if you are able to go through the entire loop that means the answer exists so print this uh yeah so this is the problem if okay so this is uh i'll not say pretty easy question but yeah, it doesn't even require some complicated ds stuff so kind of easy still uh i actually was missing a case since i was getting a wrong answer but i'll be telling you optimal solution so let me get to the event. Yeah. So let me make some claims now. So what I'm saying is that if I'm having a string, let's just discuss the questions first. I'll wait. 
okay so this uh, question simply states that you are having uh, like several strings not just two strings you can have many, many strings so you can combine two strings right and you have to tell that in how many ways can you combine two strings but now the point is that you can combine two strings if and only if these two uh, these strings hold so its length should be odd so when you add s1 to s2 the length should be odd the number of different characters in, uh, in the total string or in the string s1 s2 or in the string si sj should be exactly 25 right and the number of occurrences of each character should also be odd now since these constraints are there, then the first constraint actually was uh, like didn't require uh, wasn't even required to be mentioned because if you are multiplying 25 odd number of times you will definitely get odd number odd into odd is always odd right but still they mention it anywho after that you have to tell that in how many uh, like how many combinations which are possible so that's it about the question let's move to the solution so the first thing is that since you are saying that different characters in combination of si and sj should be 25 in other words i can say since there are only 26 characters in total so i'll be leaving out one character right so that's obvious what next so since i'm leaving out one character and i know there are just 26 characters so it's easy for me to like run a loop for all the characters so for all the characters in a to z i'll run a loop and this character that i'm considering the loop would be the character to be ignored because when i uh, consider uh, two strings si and sj I'd okay i want all the other characters but let's accept for the character i right or the character let's say a except a i want all the other characters to be present so that actually gets me away with one of the constraints that the characters in two strings need to be 25 right now what next now the next thing is that every string right, would have some characters and would have a parity so by what do i mean by parity so let's say b is happening occurring two times so it's parity is even it's called even by zero and uh, odd by one let's say c is occurring five times so it's parity is one let's say c uh, d is occurring four times it's parity is zero right get the drill also i want that each character should be happening odd number of times so what i can say is that if i'm at, at a string let's say i right and i calculated the parity so i got that okay uh, a is occurring zero times then b is occurring one time c is occurring four times so its parity becomes zero then d is, let's say has a parity zero then e f anything right so it becomes a binary string i can easily represent it in a int because there are 26 characters in total int can actually represent uh, 32 bits so i can easily represent uh, them in a bit uh, int right so i'll be getting the parity now for the character that i'm ignoring so let's say this is the character that i want to ignore what is this character this is a b c let's say d is the character that i want to ignore he was not even present so initially i'll have to check that in the string i'm currently considering is d present in the strings that's an easy check right can be easily done in order of n if d is present then i won't even consider that string right i'll simply continue the loop so if okay, so d is the character i'm gonna ignore for all the other characters whenever i'm having an even parity i'll want that the string should have an odd parity over there because in total you want that the occurrences of a character is odd right so if you are already having an even parity you want odd parity so that the final parity is odd so wherever you will be getting a zero except for d or except for the character that need to be ignored for all the other numbers when you're getting a zero you'll say that the parity i want is one or wherever you're getting a number one you'll get say that the parity i want is zero right so this also would be a binary string this is something you can uh, easily uh, store in an int right so now when i'm reading an index i so i have already traversed index from uh, 0 to i minus 1 right for all of these strings i would have already calculated their parity and i can easily store them in a data structure so let's say i'll store them in a map or an unordered map or a hash map whatever you want to make uh, whatever you want to call it and then standing at i i can easily calculate that the required parity or the string i can actually combine it with has this particular parity right let's say this is a uh, mask 2 so i can easily check that how many strings before me had a mask 2 so the number of strings can easily be added to my answer so that's it for this question so, uh, like sounds easy let's look at the implementation and trust me the implementation is also easy let's just look at it so the implementation simply is that take a string 
now so that uh, like this is the ignore loop i'm uh, i'm uh, using so it would run 26 times so that i don't don't have to calculate these masks again and again so i've calculated it once over here i'm calculating two masks so one is the present mask as other, other is the parity mask so the present mask tells me that what are bits are actually present in that particular string the parity mask tell, tells me that if that particular okay if the parity of that particular character is even or odd so easy way of calculating it also if the number of string set uh, is like or the number of character set is 26 then you can continue over here i wrote parity you, uh, you should have actually written mask press doesn't make a difference right okay so after that i'll start with the ignore character so this is the character to be ignored then i'll check that if this character to be ignored is present in my current string then you'll have to continue because you can't use this string else you have to calculate the required mask or what would be the required mask so again the same check if the current bit you're talking of or the current character is actually the ignored character then continue don't do anything with that because you don't want uh, that correct to be set else if the current character is not set in the current string or if this character is not 